Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. Today's review will be featuring the GS70 Stealth Pro and also the GS60 Ghost Pro 3K version. Both of these laptops have been covered before, but today we'll be doing a new review to cover the brand new NVIDIA GTX 970 mobile video card that has been recently upgraded. The benefits of this recent upgrade should include better performance when we get to our GPU benchmarks and also better system temperatures due to the technology that the GPU uses. As you can see, we'll be doing a side-by-side -side review style today so we can cover more ground a little bit more quickly. On the left-hand side, we have the GS70, and on the right-hand side, we have the GS60. Showing the primary differences between the screen, the GS70 has the matte display, while the GS60 has the glossy display. To help define the name structure a little bit further, the GS70 is the 17-inch model, and the GS60 is the 15-inch model. On the 15-inch model, because of the 3K upgrade, the screen is a higher resolution despite being a smaller size. What both laptops are sharing in common is the GS name, which is going to be MSI's gaming laptops that are targeted to be ultra-thin and light, compared to the larger brother, which is the GT series, which is very bulky but yet very powerful. With the GS series goal in mind to be that thin and light laptop, we'll go ahead and get things started with a full suite of measurements to cover the length, width, thickness, and of course the weight. One of the great things about doing the side-by-side -side comparison with the GS60 and the GS70 is that you get a great feel for all the differences in dimensions from each side and angle. As you can see in some ways they're not too much different like when it comes to the depth, but when it comes to the width you can notice there's quite a bit of difference. When it comes to packing it into a bag, luckily both of them are both very thin, so there's not a whole lot of uh, thickness issues when it comes to sliding these into a bag, especially a messenger style bag. Now with all of our measurements complete, it's time to move into our weight department. The GS70 is up first, coming in at 5 pounds and 15 ounces by the unit on its own, and that's just shy of 6 pounds. Adding in the power adapter, it's going to bring it up to 7 pounds and 7 ounces. That's a great weight when you're considering this is a 17-inch form factor or a gaming-capable laptop. The GS60 comes in at 4 pounds and 7 ounces with the unit by itself. The power adapter brings that up to 5 pounds and 14 ounces. Now we're going to move into the operating system and take a look at our device manager. Here is all of the installed hardware. You can see we have dedicated graphics, the NVIDIA GTX 970 mobile. This is the 3 gigabyte version. The integrated graphics. We have killer for wired and wireless networking and the Intel Core i7-4710HQ. Our panel here is going to be CMN1735. On the GS60, you're going to see very much the same hardware here. We have the Intel and the NVIDIA, the same as before. We still have Killer for wired and wireless. Same Intel CPU. So some of the differences are going to be in the amount of storage devices that you can fit inside due to the form factor. And of course, we have the higher resolution panel, which is MEI96A2. We'll proceed now to the external tour of both units, starting with the GS70. You can see in the front we have our status LEDs. Front and center we have the very large touchpad with the integrated left and right clicks underneath the touchpad itself. Our chiclet style keyboard with the multicolored LED backlighting. And at the top we'll see our individual all alone power button with the perforations for the system cooling and speaker system. Of course, our keyboard here is branded by Steel Series, and our audio system is from Dyn Audio. On the right hand side getting to the GS60 you'll see that it's pretty much exactly the same as the GS70. 
same keyboard layout, same button configuration. The only difference is that the status LEDs have moved to the right hand side. Now moving around to the back of the unit, you'll see that there's no connections available as far as interfaces. The only thing you'll be greeted with is the MSI gaming logo and MSI logos in the center top of the LCD lid. On the left hand side, we're going to find exhaust for the cooling, the RJ45 for local networking, HDMI, two mini display ports, two USB 3.0 ports, and our three 3.5 millimeter audio jacks, which is headphones, microphone, and SPDIF output. Now to the GS60, you'll see the rear of the unit still has no interfaces, but you do see all of the vented openings for system cooling, which were not present on the GS70. To the left hand side, we're going to have another opening for cooling, our Kennington lock port, the power port for charging and running off of mains, two USB 3.0 ports, and only two 3.5 millimeter audio jacks, one for your headphone and one for your microphone. To the right hand side, we're seeing two USB 3.0 ports, our card reader, our power port for charging and going off of mains, and our Kennington lock port. And on the GS60, a single USB 3.0 port, the card reader, HDMI, mini display port, and RJ45 for our local networking. Now moving into the software layer, this is the software that controls all of the keyboard backlighting. This feature set's been around for a while now on pretty much all the G-Series MSI gaming laptops, so we won't spend too much time showing it off. Just know that you do have that feature available to you, so you can customize your laptop to look exactly the way you would like. Now moving into our Gaming Performance Benchmarks section, we'll start with 3D Mark 11. A performance score of 9117 was what we attained with the brand new NVIDIA GTX 970 Mobile. Down below is the full GPU-Z information on the 970 Mobile. And of course during our benchmark we ran all the thermal testing as well so that we can see our temperatures that we achieved. On the CPU we reached just about 80 degrees Celsius max. And down on the GPU side, we reached just about 80 degrees Celsius max. So the temperatures are really good here compared to the previous release of the GS series where they were a little bit higher than that. Over to the GS60, you can see the performance score here was 9,129. Using pretty much the exact same system specs, so here you can find the same GPU-Z information on the 970 mobile. Now the thermal monitoring, you can see here the CPU reached mid 80s maximum, so a little bit hotter but not by much. And our GPU temperatures actually went down to about 75 degrees Celsius max. So small variances in the cooling between the two laptops, more or less when you average it out it comes out to be equal. Next up in our battery of tests is going to be the ambient noise levels. So we have a sound reader on top of the laptop and what we're testing for here is the amount of noise produced by the cooling system of the laptop.
As you can see here, when the systems are under similar load, they're more or less equal when it comes to the noise levels. But depending under how much load the system is at currently, the fans can spool up changing the readings we get near the exhaust quite a bit. Near the front where you'll be sitting, we get really acceptable noise levels. And here is a more realistic scenario, running a gaming performance benchmark while reading the noise levels from the front of the laptop. It's important to keep in mind that all these readings are worst case scenario since we're in a very quiet room and we're putting a noise reader right next to either the exhaust or the laptop itself. In real life where you're going to be in a room filled with other ambient noises and not putting your ear up against the laptop, it's not going to be nearly like this. However, the real main goal of this test is just to give you a way to visually see how loud a laptop is in a video where the microphone recording could be deceiving, and most importantly to give you a baseline to compare against other laptops that we review so you can actually compare them accurately. Now moving into our next benchmark, this is going to be the Fire Strike benchmark from 3 Mark. You can see we got a score of 6,568. And Fire Strike offers us a really great level of detail when it comes to the results we get a nice line graph that shows our frames per second and temperatures over time. And over on the GS60, we got a score of 6,519. Again, here's our details pane where we can see all of our frames per second and temperatures over time and all of our system information down below. And now it's time for us to move into our final segment of the review, which is going to be minor disassembly of both units. This is where you can expect to see some of the major differences between the 17-inch and 15-inch form factor due to the limited size restraints of both. In both cases, there's going to be several screws that have to be removed to actually get the back part of the laptop off, so it's not exactly easy access. Keep in mind that there are different lengths of screws in some cases, so if you are taking apart your laptop, document which ones are which so you don't put it together wrong. We'll start the inside tour on the GS70 first. The main thing we'll see in the front is going to be the internal battery, followed shortly by our 2.5 inch mechanical drive for mass storage. Up above we have two M SATA SSDs, and we do have availability for a third one in an empty slot. That's a grand total of three SSDs and one mechanical hard drive for really good storage capability on the GS70. Moving up towards the top of the laptop, which is the back side, we have our system cooling fans on the left and right corners, the combo wireless card on the left hand side, and also the system subwoofer. Now moving over to the GS60, you'll see things look a little bit more cramped here because of the smaller form factor. We do have the system cooling fans in the same location, and there's our combo wireless card down below. We have the internal battery, followed by the 2.5 inch mechanical hard drive, and we have the system speakers in the left and right corners. The main difference I'm sure you notice is that the micro SATA SSDs are not here on the top of the motherboard. Instead, underneath we have two M2 SATA slots with only one occupied. So it's going to be a different form factor for your solid state disk and also a lot harder to gain access to it for an upgrade. And that everybody is going to bring our updated review of the GS60 and GS70 to a close. We hope that you found the review informative and entertaining. If you'd like to learn more information about these systems, then visit our website jedtechpc.com and there you'll find the full product specifications on the product page as well as the current pricing and availability. If you have any further questions, you have an open invitation to contact us by phone or email. And of course, you can post here on our YouTube video and we'll be happy to get back to you and get you the assistance you need. So we just want to remind everybody once again, this was Gentech PC and we'll see you next time.